dear learner welcome in my lecture of web technology today i will discuss about dstml client server side technology in previous lecture we have discussed about wml cascading style sheet so first of all learning objective of this lecture is to understand the dstml dstml and javascript features of dstml client server side technologies two tier three tier and n tier technology j2e architecture and practical implementation of java script programs so this is very important part of this web technology so first of all dstml so dstml basically combination of css javascript and html so you can see this diagram this circle you can see so dstml is middle part of this one where html javascript css everything is intersect so this is combination of javascript css and html so we can say dynamic hypertext markup language dynamic html or we can say so it is collection of technologies used together to create interactive and animated website so it make website very very interactive and it makes website animated so by using dstml we can develop our website with animation it is not a markup language or a web standard so dstml again i will say combination of css javascript css and other tools also we can include with dstml so now again it is combination of static markup language such as html client side scripting language like javascript vb script and other scripting like c sharp script a presentation definition language such as css and document object model dom will also be included inside this dstml javascript is basically a programming language scripting language so we can use this this scripting language with css and with html also so this is combinedly known as dstml the application of dstml was introduced by microsoft with the release of internet explorer 4 in 1997 so after that it is started smoothly dstml allow different scripting language in web page to change their variable which enhance the effect and looks so this dstml is basically is focus on the effect and look of any page any web page so uh, that's why it is very important and other features of dstml the simplest feature is making the page dynamic mm. again can be used to create animation games and different application and facilities the use of events method property and code reuse so by using javascript making javascript part of dstml we can include event we can include methods properties and code reuse it makes web experience faster more interactive more helpful more user friendly for end user so these are the major feature of dstml now see this one program where we are using javascript so here html program basically it is and but we have used javascript also with this program so here head and script so before head we have html then head then script and inside script we have function sum and inside sum function we have three variable x y z so x and y are two variable x and y so first you see this output window subject 1 we have given here input 3 subject 2 we have given here input 4 and sum of subject 1 and subject 2 that is 7 3 plus 4 is 
and sum is finally you can see sum is a text box as well as sum is a button also so here x and y are two variables so we are copying the value of first text box 3 on x and 4 on y so uh, x equals to see the statement x equals to document dot address form dot subject one dot value so here document keyword will be used with the javascript so always we will in java we write system dot out dot println system dot in dot println same way here we use document dot address form address form means this is output and this output is known as address form so uh, address form is name of this form so this is form and the name of this form is address form form name address form subject one input name subject one then br subject two input name subject two then again br line break and sum is a input name sum so this is again text box subject one is a text box input name subject one subject two again text box input name subject two and sum it is also text box name its name also sum so variable name is also sum so we have three different lines subject one subject two and sum so three will be transferred to x and four will be transferred to y so uh, this way we have two variable x and y and then we will find the sum of x and y so before finding sum we have to convert them into integer so parse int x parse int y by using these function parse int x and parse int y we will convert x and y into integer and then we will add the sum of these two variables x and y in z variable and finally z will be copied on address form dot sum dot value so here uh, document dot address form address form is a form form you can see this this form form sum sum is the third field third field third text box and value its value so z will be transferred at value place of sum variable so we can also write document dot write also so by using this statement we can also print the value of z on command line so script will be closed head will be closed and the body portion and inside body portion we have form name address form and these three text box and finally fourth input type button fourth is the button so this is button this is sum is a button fourth one is the button so here input type button value sum on click as we will click on this sum button so it will directly start sum function so sum function is mentioned in the upper part of this slide function sum and then curly bracket start so this is form these are two part first part is the scripting part and second part is the html part and html part is finally closed by slash form slash body and slash html so this is html code along with javascript code so by which we are finding sum of two number so this is a program of javascript as well as html so you see here the combination of javascript and html is called dhtml and we can also include css suppose we are only including javascript and html then it will be uh, dhtml suppose we are including these three css javascript html again it is dhtml so in both case we will call it dhtml so this is the program now client side and server side technology the second part of this lecture client side and server side technology so for web technology it is very important client side and server side technology so when we connect with the server so we are the client and server where we are connecting that is server suppose we are we are searching some some important information from any site any uh, server so we directly link with that server so one side we have web client and on the other side we have web server and we can communicate with the server with help of tcp ip so this is the medium of internet or tcp ip transmission control protocol internet protocol by using this we send the message request in the form of http request and 
TCP IP will carry that HTTP request and it will send to server and server will accordingly process that request and accordingly reply uh, the message message response to web client through TCP IP. So this is the diagram you can see here. So this is client server technology one client and then another one is the server. But suppose we have more than one server. So uh, we can call it three tire technology. Suppose we have three server then it will call three tire client server network. Or suppose we have four then it will call four tire client server network. Suppose n so it will call n tire of client server network. So here tire one is the web client and web client will send the request through TCP IP internet and it will send to web server tire two. Suppose that web server send the request to catalog database suppose we are searching some information suppose we are finding some information regarding the science so the request will move to tire one means web server but web server having one catalog server so where uh, the catalog of that uh, information uh, of science so one server will allocate it for the catalog only so we will move to catalog database and database management software and where it will find the related information uh, and it will route it to particular server. Suppose the information is related to an, any particular server which is situated at New York. So it will pass our request to New York and uh, it will route our request to New York and then after processing of inside that server the response will generate and the response will again come to this web server to web tire to and finally it will move to the web client. So this whole process happens part of second. So uh, this is amazing really amazing that we send the request and same time we find the solution of that one in internet. So this process happens like that. So uh, this is called entire of three tire of client server network. So again uh, you can see other diagram of this client server network here also we have client side presentation we have software also we have pure html we can use java applet we can use other tools also in client side like c sharp j sharp and other one and server side we have jsp we have java servlet we have j2e platform and then this web server tier 2 web tier it will send the request to the database but in between we have EJB tire we have this EJB we have J2E platform so uh, why we are using this EJB enterprise job is because of when we request to the uh, particular database the database will fetch that particular type of information but this information safely sent to the web tire and web tire safely send it to the client so in between we require EJB enterprise java bean so enterprise java bean is a uh, basically a java programs and these software will will available the data from the database the final enterprise information system from the enterprise information and safely it, it will handed it to the web tire and web tire handed it to the client the side presentation so here we are using uh, entire of technology entire of j2e architecture so J2E means Java 2 Enterprise Edition but initially it was J2 SE Java 2 Standard Edition but the advanced one is the J2E Java 2 Enterprise uh, Edition and it means Java 2 Enterprise Edition is a platform independent Java centric environment from Sun for developing, building, deploying web based enterprise application online. So this is more important and J2E platform consists of set of service API protocol that provide the functionality for developing multi tier web based application so this is uh, j2e so this is more advanced than java 2 standard edition j2 se has only java and uh, uh, some tools limited tools but uh, j2e is advanced java 2 enterprise edition it is a synonym of advanced java so we have multiple like uh, application tools like jsp like java servlet so this will make secure our web and securely transfer the information 
inside the web so this is the client server technology entire technology so uh, the learning outcome finally after learning this lecture listening this lecture the learning outcome of the lecture is how to write program in dstml with javascript user know the basic understanding of client side and server side technologies two tier three tier and tier technology j2e architecture also user will understand so uh, thank you very much and in next slide in detail we will study about the html html program how to write html program thank you learner thank you very much